Hey everyone. Uh, so this is just going to be a real brief video where I'm going to explain uh, basically what we're going to be doing day in and day out. So it's going to look different, uh, but a lot of the stuff you'll be doing is through AP Central at this point. So the goal of every lesson up until the AP exam is to get you ready for those two questions <clears throat> that you'll ultimately have to write. So um, nothing's really going to be through Canvas. This is going to be like your prep work to make sure you can get uh, that three, four or five and hopefully some college credit out of this course. <clears throat> so you're going to get two things each day. Uh, the first is going to be a quiz. And then the second thing is going to be an activity that's going to uh, get you to rework with the essential documents that you need to know. So first thing you're going to need to do is get set up on the page. I'll put all this on Canvas as well, um, but you're going to be in spring. I think it's section four. I'm going to give the code, things of that sort. So expect to do everything through the AP board. Now, this is my first time really using their resources like this. Uh, so uh, I need to make sure I set everything up right. And if I didn't, reach out. Let me know. Uh, help me out with that, please. So first thing. You're going to get a quiz. Now, this first one's 35 questions. And I think like in total, there's like over 900 questions. So like these will be great, uh, you know, resources for you to use. I think I set them up so you can take them multiple times. Let me know if not, where I'm really looking for these to help you be thinking about the second question, which is the concept application. So I'll eventually come up with like actual like types of questions that you could prep for. But first, I want you to become reacquainted with the information. So I'm gonna try and match up uh, the quiz along with the uh, essential reading that you're gonna go through a second time. So these are all just like unit one type questions. And it's gonna force you to rethink about information that we've learned thus far. I mean, you just take a look at question one, according to James Madison, which of the following best controls the effects of a faction? Now, this is a great question because it's getting you to think conceptually. We're thinking big picture here. We're not even talking about necessarily the nitty gritty of government and Congress and how it all works and things like that. But like, what is it that we knew, need to do to make sure that we have these major factions, or excuse me, that we can have this, I'm thinking about the answer in uh, me talking here, so I'm thrown off there. But basically like, conceptually, uh, broad idea wise, like how do we control these different groups of people that have these different views in this country that we're creating? So um, as you go through these, if there's questions you're really struggling with or you're unsure of, save them, talk to me about them when we have our conference on Friday, or please feel free to reach out via email. We could have a quick Zoom with you and a couple other people, or just you, if you have some questions to go over these, let me know what you need. Now, the second thing is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, also from the AP board. Uh, they have these great packets that basically give you a couple different activities, and I'll take you through this, uh, but you're going to get this for each one of these readings, uh, and I'll explain what I want you to do with them. So again, if you were at the conference, this is on Friday, the Zoom conference, this is going back to me getting you to rework with your information one additional time. So first and foremost, uh, I'd say go back to the original uh, PowerPoint, the original activity we did with the reading first. So we have the Declaration of Independence. If you remember, uh, we looked at this in relation to the concepts of power, authority, and legit legitimacy. And then we broke down uh, the Declaration of Independence and that committee assignment we did. So go back to your notes. Think about what we talked about here and remember the context we put it in. Why do relationships end? And talking about that in relation to power, authority, legitimacy, looking at what was going on in Venezuela and trying to get a sense of uh, why uh, governments break down, why the authority of a government uh, no longer holds true for its people. And really, how that was evident in the Declaration of Independence. So here's where you can also pull up your committee assignment that you guys worked on. Remember, I broke it down into these three sections, the reasoning, the irreconcilable differences, and then the new beginning. So for this activity, what I'm hoping you'll do is just have this out in front of you and then look to apply it in the ways that um, this activity from the AP board will ask you to do so. So let me go through that. 
So when you take a look at this 14 pages long, but you kind of want to zoom through it a little bit here and skip the second page. Now, if you want, you start with this before you read activity, but this is kind of what we did before. Like what individual rights should a government, uh, should a government protect for its people? What government should provide for the people? How the government should hold government accountable? So if you want to go through this first uh, to get you thinking, that's fine. But the other idea was just to, to go back to this activity that we did here to get you thinking about the Declaration of Independence, things of that sort. So you can either try this or you can skip this if you want. Now, for the activity itself, you can see they have this, uh, the, you know, the entirety of the Declaration of Independence. They have these activities that you can be doing here to break this down. I'm not actually expecting you to read this in full and do the activity again. I'm hoping you can go back to your notes from this uh, or you can go back to the document if you want. Um, but I'm looking for some application here. So that's where I'm going to um, <clears throat> tell you where to go to. So this is where you'll get the after you read stuff. So after you read, thinking like a political scientist, I want you to work on these. Now, I'm not going to go over each one of these, but as you can see, it's going to give you some definitive questions that you can think through. So whether you want to go back to the document itself, whether you want to go back to the information that you had from this committee assignment to see how that information applies to this, just to get reacquainted with the information itself. Uh, not worrying about the nitty gritty, every single thing that was put into there, but the big concepts, the big ideas that we pull from this that you'll have to work with in the question. So again, um, <clears throat> you could do this in full, do this in connection with the committee assignment that we did in the fall. And if you weren't one of those people who are in my class at that point, uh, I would definitely say to work on this. Now, the main thing you're doing here, this is what I'm gonna ask you guys to do. So this is really where it's incumbent upon you to put in the time and effort to work with this document a second time and to develop your notes so that we can talk about them on Friday. Uh, I'm gonna be creating some mock uh, questions based on these documents eventually for you once we get through these. So you can look to work with these information a second time and then a third time. Now for this activity here, and it's on page nine, is where you're really focusing on, is you're going to compare the Declaration of Independence with the Second Treaties of Civil Government from John Locke, who heavily influenced uh, the Declaration of Independence. So I want you to read this through. And I want you to read and break down these different sections that they have on these pages. And what you can see along the right hand side on each one of these pages is uh, source analysis, check your understanding. It's basically a guide to get you to think through what you're reading while you're reading it, because there's a good chance that and I'm going to say that for something else. So break down the treaties of government. And then you want to get to the final activity here, right? So here's where you're looking at the after you read. And this is basically asking you to pull out the same major concepts uh, from the second treaties of government, it's very similarly to what you did with the Declaration of Independence. And then ultimately, what it's going to ask you to do is to make connections. And this is the key thing I want you to walk away with. I want you to have a Venn diagram where you're taking the broad concepts from the second treaties of government and from the Declaration of Independence. So um, if you do not complete that activity on the second treaties, you obviously can't do this. So here's what I would do is I would go back to this activity. I would take out these key concepts that we put into here or that we took out here and I'm gonna put that into context with the second treaties of government. And I'm gonna look for all the similarities and differences between these two and ultimately uh, answering this question according to what you read in Jefferson and Locke, how are liberty and order balanced in the social contract? So in other words, what makes a good government a good government? Because um, that's the key takeaway that you need to have here regarding this document, as this was our way of saying to the world, we are you know, getting rid of this government to form this new one for these reasons. So what are those core concepts that are embedded? Now, one last thing, because I'm not going to put videos up talking about these, explaining these. Um, think about questions that you have. Uh, email me, 
post the Padlet, whatever you need. Um, bring them to the conference on Friday and we'll talk this through. So do this with a partner, do this with the group, um, but really think about getting prepped, setting up your notes uh, for this upcoming AP exam you have. So I'm going to post this all on the canvas and I uh, hope you guys have a great day.